Hey booktube, glad you're here. Welcome subscribers, welcome those who are just visiting. Love to have you here. Right now this is just gonna be a quick one because I just finished a book and wanted to do a quick review. Uh, the book is Zombie by Joyce Carol Oates. And it is easily the most disturbing book I have ever read. And in the 50 plus years that I've been reading, I've read a lot of books, but this one really takes the cake. Now that being said, I have to say the reason it is so disturbing, the reason it takes you the way it does is because of the brilliant writing. Joyce Carol Oates is an artist and what she does in this book is what makes it disturbing. Uh, I mean, not, not, not every writer could do that. Not every writer could take the story and make it creep into your bones the way she does. Um, the book is about a Jeffrey Dahmer style serial killer. And it's told from the serial killer's point of view. You are inside the serial killer's head. And she presents, as one blurb I read put it, not just the serial killer's story, but you're, you're seeing the serial killer's logic, which is what makes it terrifying. There are some scenes that when I say they are squirm-worthy, I'm telling you there was one, the scene with the ice pick, that's all I'll say. I had to put the book down get up and walk it off and I almost didn't go back to the book but like watching a train wreck I had to look back and find out what was going to happen and um, it is a riveting book a brilliantly written book deeply disturbing book as much as I admire the writing as much as I admire the storytelling and what she accomplished with it, I will never read this book again. Um, it will definitely, I'm giving it four stars on Goodreads, but I will not go back to it and read it again. Uh, I'm rating it because I recognize the artfulness that went into it, and that's what, um, that's what I'm impressed with but I could not expose myself to this story a second time, even knowing what's coming up. Uh, it's a book that will stay with me. I'm sure I will have dreams about it. I'm sure that it'll crop up at these odd moments in my head. Um, should you read it? If you have a strong stomach, if you don't mind somebody um, directing your mind basically in a direction that is terrifying and unnerving then yeah go ahead and read it if you are easily distraught by books like that then avoid it um, this is a book that should come with some trigger warnings. Uh, I'm not a big advocate of trigger warnings, but um, well, the blurb on the book is, should be enough of a trigger warning. No, well, maybe not, because even then I did not expect, even being told by um, Ollie over at Criminali uh, what type of book it was, because he did a review on it, I still went in not fully expecting what I received. Um, it's a difficult book, but again, a brilliant book. So there's the paradox. Do you read it and let yourself get freaked out and still recognize the artfulness of the work? Or do you avoid it and just say, have a nice day? So leave that up to you to, me, to, to, to decide. Um, like I said, it's one I won't go back and reread, but I will give it its four stars on Goodreads for the art, piece of art that it is. And that being said, I will part with my usual greeting, Amor Fati, love your fate, and be careful.
careful what you read. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.